Good afternoon. How are we doing? We all okay? We all in? So it's Saturday afternoon. Uh, we're doing core conditioning, bit of an abs class for you. Yeah. Uh, that's what I so we've got uh, Facebook and Instagram, same as ever. Uh, check in, say hello, let me know you're here. Give us a comment, give us a wave, do something. Smile, wave. Talk nicely to me, tell me to shut up and get on with it. Ah, it's the wife, the wife's involved. Hi wife. Who else have we got? Looks like Jess is here. Jess Lewis, hey! You okay? Let's get a few other people on board. Tara's here. Hello, Tara. Okay, so our plan for today... <laughs> nice message from Ruth. Shut up and get on with it. Yeah, great. Hi, Judith. How are you? Plan today, eight exercises, and accumulate the session. It'll build up, and then we'll take bits out of it. There's no rest. GJL. Glee, how are you? Um, is that you doing it, or the wife, or both? Just an upper body blast and lower, Jess, and now you need this. Oh my god. Someone stole my furniture. No, it's alright, Glee. They put it on the other side of the room, yeah? Um, yeah, oh, I, I moved it. It's fine. We're good. You don't need to come all the way back from Milton Keynes to investigate. You can if you want. I'll get the beers ready. Okay, so eight exercises. It's an accumulator. There is no rest planned through all of the workout, okay? It is 30 seconds out of one into the next. So make sure you're paying attention to see where the changes are and what we're doing. It's 31 minutes without a break. <laughs> Good luck. This will be fun. Alright, so let's get everybody warmed up. All you need to warm up is a little bit of space. And I just want you to turn your toes in towards each other slightly. Twist. Turn your shoulders each way. Little bit of rotation. Little bit of a turn. So turn your shoulders, let it start to swing and reach round, pull through a little bit. Just so we can start to open up the abs, loosen up the lower back. And then for the next couple, turn your head so you look round as you go. Four more. And then bring it into the middle, take your hands back behind your head, still toes turned in, tip forward, stand it up, tip forward, stand up, so you get that little bit of movement, keep going. Oh, Shanti, you're the last. Where have you been? Oh, you've been playing with kettlebells. Yeah, I saw it on Insta, you were playing with kettlebells first, that's fine, then you warm up. So you get that little bit of a rock, and now we're going to take it opposite hand to foot. You get that little bit of a reach across the body, push your hip to the side as you go. Two more. And relax, you know what, yeah, that'll do. So, we're gonna get into it. All you've gotta do, lie yourself down. So accumulated workout, we keep repeating and building up bits. We start out, our first two exercises, hands by your side, it's reverse crunch, roll your knees back towards your chest, we get 30 seconds here, and then we sit up, hands at the side, and we get 30 seconds of a V-sit, flutter kick, and then we'll build the rest up from there. So we start with reverse crunch. Where's the volume? Three, two, one. Good luck, let's go. So you keep your knees bent all the time. Pull your knees back towards your chest. As it comes down, get your heels just to the floor. And then pull it back up. Ideally, palms facing the ceiling. 
So we can make sure your abs do the work. We're not using your hands to push into the ground. 10 seconds. And then we're going to sit up. Just bring it up, hands to the side. V sit, flutter kick. So rather than doing it from lying down, we'll do it start part way in, use the abs a bit more. It's like Sean's written me a message, it's the other side of the room, I can't see from here. Sean, I'm old, I can't see that far. Seven seconds, back to reverse crunch. Two, one, let's go. So you get your knees as close to your chest as you can, you roll it back. Your hips just off the floor. Last couple of seconds. Let me go back to that V-sit, that flutter kick. Two, one, up we go. Make sure you're moving from the hip. You're not just kicking your legs, yeah? You've got to move your upper leg. Seven seconds, our next change. Feet down, hold it here, halfway, 45 degree hold. So you're leaning back, tension in the abs, hands off your legs. If you want to bring it up to a boat pose with your legs level to the floor instead, that's fine. It's up to you. Just hold it, keep that chest lifted, that back straight. Who's that? Looks like Julie's in as well. We're going back to reverse crunch. Now, lay it down, bring your knees back towards you. Don't forget to breathe. We've got about 10 seconds here. And we sit it up to that flutter kick. Three, two, one, and up we get. Come on. So we go from this to that 45 degree hold. Three, two, one, sit up. Leaning back, stay here. Hands off your legs. So keep that chest lifted. Try not to hunch and drop into it. Try and keep your chest open, that chest nice and proud. 10 seconds, your next change. We're going to go to the negatives. We start at the top. We roll back really slowly, quickly to the top, slowly down. Let's do it. Let's go. Oops. So up fast, down slow. Going slowly on this one. The slower, the better. Just to really make sure the abs are working to hold you. Five seconds. We start again. Reverse crunch. Knees to your chest. Go. So one more time. Keep your knees bent. Try not to drop it down and then kick your feet up. That takes the movement out of your abs. Come up to that flutter kick. Two, one, let's go. Oh. 
Come on, keep going, keep going. I'm not doing this up, it's Metallica. Gotta be louder. It's that hole, halfway, here we go. You okay? Still breathing, still with me? Yeah, I'll make your box into it. 10 seconds. It's a negative next. Come slowly. Go. So just slowly let yourself down to the ground. Roll over the back of the hip. Straight back up. Seven seconds. Your next one. Crunch. You jump for your foot. Let's go. So alternate reach. Left to right, right to left. If you can't get your foot, go for your ankle or your calf. Ten seconds. Back to the start. Reverse crunch. Bring your knees towards you. Only 24 minutes to go. Only. <laughs> We got that flat to kick. Ready? Three, two, one, up we go. Feeling it a little bit already. Maybe. Your next one is that 45 degree hold. Two, one, hold it up. Thanks, Angela. Keep going. Should be leaning it back. Keep that chest open. Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing. Seven seconds. From here, it's that negative, that slow lie back. Go. Slow as you can. Keep it controlled. You want to make sure you're really keeping yourself open for this. Don't fix on one point as you look forwards, because your head's going to move. So make sure you look up. We come to that toe reach. Up for your leg. So we're reaching for your foot, or your ankle, or your calf. I'm going to draw the line at knees though, yeah? So we've got knees on the next one. Make sure you breathe. If you hold your breath when you're sitting up here, you're just going to make it harder. Your next movement, feet on the floor. Crunches. Now, pull it in. Turn it back down a bit. So we're going to crunch in. We're going to get your hands or your fingers to the top of the knee. Little pause here. You crunch up, squeeze, and then back down. Seven seconds. We start again. Reverse crunch. Now, knees bent, palms facing the ceiling. You go back as far as you're comfortable with, okay? If it means you only come up to about here and think, yeah, that's it, great, that's fine. 
You're still going to try and roll it in, pull it tight. Resist it as it comes back down. Don't just let your feet drop, yeah? Always in control. Four, three, flutter kick. So your hands on the side or out in front if you want. Hold your mat, hold your towel. Kick from the hips. When you're tired, sit up, breathe, and then go back in. Last couple of seconds. Next change, we go back to that boat pose or that 45 degree hold. So you either stay here. If you want to pick your legs up, you can. Depends how hard you want to work it. But as long as you're leaning back, your chest is open. You should feel your tummy start to shake a little bit when it's working right at the edge of what the muscle can do. Challenge yourself a little bit. So our next exercise is negatives, where we roll it back slowly. Two, one, let's go. How are you feeling? I'm sure I'm going to head for that radiator. <laughs> Won't be the first time. Ten seconds. Your next one is that crunch with a reach. There we go. So get up nice and high. Ten seconds. Short movement next, it's that crunch. Feet on the floor. Sit up, get your hands to the top of your knee. Little pause and then down. Up we go. When you come up, squeeze, pull it in. Feel your abs, feel your tummy, pull it in. Halfway. Always keep that gap. Chin up your chest. Next movement, full sit-ups, all the way down, all the way up. Now, come on. Just keep moving steadily. Ten seconds to go. We've got the last set of reverse crunch. Now. So we're going to add on one new exercise at the end of this round. Then we start taking bits away. And by taking bits away, from the next round, there's no reverse crunch. We've got that V-sit flutter kick. Three, two, one, up you come. Come on, keep it moving. All the time, move from the hip. Ten seconds. It's that 45 degree hold next. Where we sit in the middle and stay here. Now. Whew. Breathe, smile, relax. Anybody want to talk and pass the time? Come on It's in everything. I hope Gary please say it's too easy. Next one is negative, we go back slowly. Let's go. Come on. I can't even hear the wife telling me off. 
for being mean and keeping people doing this well. 10 seconds. <laughs> That's me in the dark house for the rest of the weekend. It's that crunch and tongue reach. <laughs> She's upstairs doing this workout. I know there's something knocking upstairs. <laughs> Uh, it could be worse. I could take my job seriously. So your next one is feet flat, crunches. Let's go. Little pause as you come up. <laughs> Message off roof, she doesn't like me anymore. Means at some point she did like me. So from crunches, you got full sit-ups all the way up. Let's go. Sean, it's okay to be struggling a little bit. This is relentless, it's non-stop. And you've been doing workouts with me, workouts with KJ, workouts on your own at home. You train as much as I do. Our next change, the last thing we add on, feet together, diamond sit-ups, tap behind you, tap in front, feet together, knees out to the sides. Let's go. Tap behind you. Tap in front. So we haven't got reverse crunch next. We go back to that flutter kick. Hands at the side. We move from the hip. Two, one. Now. The good news. We're over halfway. This is the last set of this one we've got to do as well. 10 seconds. Next change is that hold halfway. Now, chest up. Come on, come on, keep holding. Seven seconds. Next change, can you remember it? Just when you go back slowly. Now, let's go. Up. Slowly, roll it back. The slower, the better. Really. Seven seconds. It's that toe reach, that foot reach. Get up, tap your foot. Whee! Up we go. Come on, last couple of seconds here. Your next change is going to be feet on the floor, crunches, sit up, reach for your knees. Let's do it. Always that chin off the chest. Keep that gap. Keep moving. Keep breathing. <laughs> breathing helps. Seven seconds from crunches to sit ups all the way up, all the way down. Let's go.
Crumb, reach it far forward, really pull it. Start bringing your soles of your feet together, knees up to the side. It's that diamond sitter, tap back, tap in front. Let's go. Halfway. We go from here to that halfway hold. Last time. Go. Last one of these. Come on. I'm going to turn this one up a bit. Next change is that negative in 10 seconds. When we roll back slow as you can. I want you doing it as slowly as possible. Now, get as few repetitions as you can. Up fast, down slow. So we come from here to that crunch with a reach for your foot. Two, one, go. Ten seconds. Next one. Feet down. Crunches. Go. Still a little pause as you come out. Ten seconds. Then from crunches, short range, to sit-ups, full range. Up we go. Reach forward when you come up. Don't forget to breathe. Start bringing your feet together. Knees to the side. Diamonds. Go. You can still let it go back down slowly as you come back down here. Ten seconds. Speaking of going back down slowly, our next change, we come up to the top, down slow, up fast, it's those negatives, let's do it, slow, 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 ten seconds, That crunch with a reach. Here we go. From crunch with a reach. Normal crunches, get to your knees. Now bring it up, tap the knees, hold, bring it down. Keep looking up. 
Not fluids. Seven seconds, then from crunches to full sit ups. Yep. Everybody okay? Soles of your feet together, knees to the side. Woo. Diamond, let's go. Yeah. Come on, we can do it. There's less than five minutes to the end. Ten seconds here. Can we come from diamond sit ups? To that crunch with a reach for your foot. So you bring it up, tap, foot, ankle or calf. Ten seconds. Normal crunch. Same for your knees, let's go. So we go from here from crunches. We get to full sit ups, reach all the way forwards. Go! Feet 
together. Knees to the side. Diamond sit-ups to finish. Go. Come on, we can get it. We can get it. 15 seconds. Okay, so let's try and release everything off. Let's try and stretch a little bit. So stay down by the floor. Let's just kneel here. Hips back to your heels. Drop your hands back behind you. Just lean it back a little bit. Drop your head back. Lift your chest. Let it stretch right down the front. Ruth, the last few minutes were brutal. Yes, you helped me write it. Uh, Sean, you made it to the end. We survived. Lean it back, chest lifted. Drop your head back. And then bring yourself over. Let's take your hands out in front. Walk your hands out. Drop yourself down low to the floor. Into that child's pose. We'll get a bit of a stretch off the lower back here. And then slowly bring yourself back. Let's go back to where we were. Hands behind you. Lift your chest. Drop your head back. Try and feel the stretch right through the top of the abs, right under the ribs, yeah? Breathe deep into your stomach if you've got to. Breathe it out. Open your tummy muscles back up. And slowly bring yourself forwards one more time. Roll it down. Down to the ground. Get that stretch. <laughs> Jessica, a tad brutal. Yeah. We've done worse. Probably somewhere. <laughs> All right. Bring yourself up to kneeling. Let's just push your back up and over. Chin down to your chest. Arch it over. And then roll it back. Lift your head up, drop your stomach, lift your chest. And then push it up and over once more. And drop it down. Pick your head up. All right. That'll do. Okay, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Great stuff. Well done. That was a tough one. So, uh, what have we got tomorrow? We've got a full body blast. Full body quick workout, half hour, 40 minutes, 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, and then 5 o'clock tomorrow, a stretch session. 20 minutes, half an hour, just to stretch out, open up, relax and release. Ready to kind of shut down one week, get ready for the new start next week. That'll be fun. So, thank you for coming for this. Enjoy the rest of your night. I'm off to eat um, and, and drink, probably. Enjoy your bank holiday. I'll see you in the morning. Take care, guys.